Tonight on J.P. Rubin Fan Nation, Pope Yinzer bestows his blessing on our Steelers. Dear Lord, we, we need to win this game coming up here. It's a big one. We're off to a good start. Keep it going for us. Three, two, one. Speed artist Cody Sable will blow your mind with this 14-minute masterpiece. Will these shoppers give Steel City brand their stamp of approval? Hey, I'm Jason Sauer from Most Wanted Fine Art. And I'm creating a masterpiece on this 1975 Buick Demolition Derby car. See it coming up. Tonight on JP Roofing Fan Nation. This is Pittsburgh, the greatest sports town around. To prove it, we're hitting the road to meet you. The loudest, the proudest, the without a doubtest, best sports fans in the world. This is Fan Nation. Welcome to JP Roofing Fan Nation. I'm Daisy Jade. And I'm Rich Walsh. And we start the show by heading to West Moco. To meet a fan who is truly a walking and talking love letter to our favorite team. Hey, Steeler Nation. My name is Steeler Mama. Come check me out and all my Steeler Inc. on Fan Nation. My name is Jamie Lachetti, better known as Steeler Mama. I got mad because the Ravens beat us. I went straight down to my tattoo artist and I was like, I want to do a different tattoo. I wanted Silly McBain crushing a Raven. You know, why stop there? Why don't we just do the Browns and the Bengals too? Like a few months later, Brett Kiesel retired. And I was heartbroken because he was one of my favorite players to go see at Steelers training camp. So we had this tattoo and then the next tattoo here. And then we just figured we were just going to dedicate a whole sleeve. We wanted to honor Myron Cope. Obviously, we had to have Art Rooney. Villanueva, I, I love where your heart's at, um, how you protected our flag, and I adore you. Ben, um, you're our leader. We are so excited to have you back. Um, you are completely irreplaceable. James, um, I love you. Uh, the fact that you were able to beat cancer and be able to live your life fully and do the one thing that you love the most is to play football makes you kind of strong. TJ, oh, <laughs> you are amazing. Cam, you're, you're a beautiful man, and um, you're a badass. <laughs> Ryan says here, I got a tattoo in honor of you um, a few days after you got hurt. Jack Lambert, I still got Jack Lambert. He's still a beast. He was my dad's favorite growing up, so I had to have him. And then Terry Bradshaw, like he's like the coolest. <laughs> I want to get 33 Stiller tattoos because the Stillers were born in 1933. The most painful one was probably the one on the chest. That one hurt. But Art Rooney, that one hurt. Connor Strong. They were all pretty painful, but those three are the top three. <laughs> and I would do it over again in a heartbeat. <laughs> Even though we can't be there as fans, just know that in your hearts that you got thousands and thousands and thousands of Steeler fans loving you every day, every Sunday, and cheering you guys on. Time to check out a fan cave that would make any 412 fan in the world envious. That's because it belongs to a Pittsburgh sports legend who has collected a lifetime of Pittsburgh sports memories. Everyone, this is Bob Pompiani, and welcome to my man cave. This is where I hang out to watch sports on home. I watch a lot of sports down here, and I also surround myself in memorabilia that is significant to me. Stuff I've done, stuff I've covered, people I've met over the years. All right, now this is my favorite area. It's the bar. This is where we have a lot of great conversations. We also have more memorabilia here, like um, I was fortunate enough to uh, win at an auction a Tiger Woods autographed Masters flag. Over the years, gotten to know Arnold Palmer, uh, emceed a lot of events for La Trobe Hospital for him. Jerome Bettis uh, was kind enough to invite us to his induction ceremony. So again, all of the things I have here have personal meaning to me. And what would a fan cave and a man cave be without bobbleheads? You gotta have bobbleheads, right? All Pittsburgh related bobbleheads, no less. We're involved with uh, Cam Hayward 
in his Hayward House Foundation. And Cam and his mother, uh, such great people, they sent us a wonderful gift that was done by artist Cody Sable, one of the best artists around. And then this is a picture of my father. Um, we played golf at uh, Muirfield in Ohio. Jack Nicholas is the owner of that golf course. And as a Father's Day gift, I had this on my phone, a picture of my dad smoking a cigar before he died in 2018. Uh, they had it blown up and a nice signature. This is to Bob, happy Father's Day, Jack Nicholas. Selena has been with the Penguins now for five years, uh, going on six, got two rings, which we're proud of, but also the Penguins uh, made her a special painting. And it's her with iceberg on her shoulder. They said she looked like uh, Audrey Hepburn. The other cool thing on this wall is I had a chance to go to the White House when the Steelers won the 2009 Super Bowl and we had an event and they asked me to MC it on the White House lawn, which was pretty cool. We were doing charity work for Walter Reed Hospital. We also have this, Mary Lemieux Foundation. We've been involved in that uh, for a long time, since it began, and we have contributed by buying different items and it all goes to such a great, successful charity. Mary Lemieux has raised so much money for cancer research and this is one of them and I treasure that one. Also, Mike Tyson right here. Uh, you know, I'm trying to knock him out. He came in town to do a radio show with me. And then we have this one over here. John Elway, Mary Lemieux, myself, giving Dan Marino a Steeler jersey at a function at the Lemieux Foundation. He has everything else. He needed a Steeler jersey, even though he never played here. But I thought that was a cool moment also. All right, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed the man cave. And Rich and Daisy, two chairs available for you right here at the bar. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Our next fan is throwing up a prayer and possibly a few Hail Marys for the Steelers to continue their winning streak. Pope Yinzer, how you doing, Pope? How did you become Pope Yinzer? Oh, this happened, I'm going to say, probably about a dozen years ago. Uh, I was always a Steeler Santa Claus. I have a black and gold Steeler Santa Claus outfit, and it was a lot of fun, but it was only good for a couple games in December. And after I saw how much fun it was, I said I needed something different to do. And a wife and I were going through one of them Halloween stores around Halloween, and uh, we saw a Pope outfit on the wall. So I asked my wife, can you whip up a Pope outfit? And she said, absolutely. So here it is. Now, do you have more people in your crew? Do, are there other people that dress up? Really? Like my, my, my wife here, I mean, she goes down with me dressed up like this all the time. She has the terrible towel uh, skirt on that she made. But uh, it's generally just my wife, myself, and then, you know, we, we, we meet up a whole bunch of people down there. Hey, Pope, you able to bless us with the Steelers win? Uh, uh, dear Lord, we, we need to win this game coming up here. It's a big one. We're off to a good start. Keep it going for us. So what's your prediction? I, I'm going to go with a 10-6 and six season, maybe 11-5. and five. Obviously, staying healthy is going to be the key to the whole year. We stay healthy, the sky's the limit. I like the way you're thinking. I like it. Go Steelers! See Cody Sable speed paint a world-class portrait of one of Pittsburgh's most popular athletes. The big reveal and how you might be able to hang it in your fan cave when we return. So stay tuned. your fan cave, see your crazy bobblehead collections, check out your sports tattoos, and get a taste of your tailgates. Email us at fannation at kdk.com and tell us why you want to be a part of Fan Nation. And don't forget to tag us on social media at hashtag fannationkdka. What's four in the 70s, plus one in 2006, and one in 2009? Six, yes, that's very close, but the correct answer is six and soon to be seven. Go Steelers. Now, the whole class will be learning and singing this song at graduation. Now, if you don't know nobody that has a gold lot pass, you can always go up past the McDonald's a little deeper into the north side 
and you can get lots as cheap as $30, $40, and sometimes you can just hang out there and nobody's ever going to question you as long as you're drinking pretty fast and you look like you're fitting it. Alejandro Villanueva, David DeCastro. The Steelers will beat the Browns in Pittsburgh. They'll beat the Browns in Cleveland. Hell, we'll beat the Browns if they want to play in Brazil. The year was 1972. Bradshaw drops back. He throws it. It hits off the Raiders player, big dumb head. A lot of the Steelers haters will go, oh, it hit the ground. It hit the ground. It was that day that the football guards bless Franco Harris's hands. Hey, bring up Super Bowl 30 again and I'll have you expelled. Part of the excitement of watching speed painter Cody Sabo at work is seeing his portraits come to life in mere minutes. I met him at Roberto Clemente Park and put him on the clock. I'm a speed painter. Three. Two, one. I paint live in front of audiences. I do it mainly of Pittsburgh sports, Pittsburgh athletes, because first and foremost, I'm a fan. I played sports growing up, idolizing guys like Jerome Bettis and Heinz Ward and Sid and Gino. I just love Pittsburgh sports so much. You know, it's no secret that it shows up in my artwork in a lot of different ways. I was a college football player. I played at Kentucky Christian University and to kind of get away from uh, football and studying, I started painting with a group of guys who played music. So I would paint, they would play music. So every time after practice, I was just painting and painting and painting. I kind of turned it into a thing that I never wanted to stop doing. My favorite athlete is Cam Hayward. And there's no doubt about it. He's somebody that really embodies Pittsburgh sports. He's got the grit, the grind, the determination. He is like typical 70s Pittsburgh Steelers here in the 2010s. So uh, Cam Hayward's my favorite, but you gotta give love to Troy Polamalu and Sid and, and Gino. Big Mark andre Fleury fan growing up too, by the way. So I, I've met a lot of the guys from Sid to TJ Watt to, you know, to Andrew McCutcheon. I, I've met a lot of guys, but there's one person that I'll always get starstruck over. Mario Lemieux. Mario has this presence about him that it, you, you get tongue twisted, your words get tangled up because he, he is so great and it carries with him in his presence. Sometimes I, I just have to like hand him stuff because I can't. He was like, did you do this painting? I was like, uh-huh. It's cool to me that I get to do this for uh, people like me who are big fans of Pittsburgh sports. For me to do this painting for somebody, I really hope you guys like it. I hope this painting really opens up your, your fan cave or your Pittsburgh themed office, whatever it is, I hope you like it. Good job. Good job. Okay, now we got something fun for you. Cody would like one of our 412 fanatics to hang this insane TJ Watt painting in their fan cave. But you have to find it first. Cody has hidden it in a location near and dear to his heart and home. For clues, follow Cody Sable on social and to learn more, go to fannationkdk.com. Last time Tom Mosser gave away this amazing Steeler logo painting. He hid it at the Kia Tomla workshop in Etna where Rich Kaminsky from Wexford tracked it down. Now Rich loves art and we'll get to hang it eventually. According to his wife, he has to paint the room first. Coming up. We'll get a Demolition Derby 101 from this artist and driver. Don't miss it. Welcome back and remember, if you want to be a part of Fan Nation, email us at fannation at kdk.com. In the heart of Garfield is an art gallery unlike any you've ever seen before. And owned by an artist who doubles as a demolition derby driver.
You know, Pittsburgh is my identity. My son goes to the same school at Arsenal that my grandfather did, so I have to give homage to Pittsburgh. So what we're doing today is we're gonna paint a skyline. KDKA is the bat signal. And at the very bottom, we're gonna write Fan Nation. Demotion Derby is a competition where 20 cars go out on the track. Last car running, making competition hit wins. It is a sport born out of the love of smashing cars. My grandfather had the junkyard here on 38th and Butler. My family was allowing me to paint all the derby cars in the junkyard. I joined the army, went to college, I met a professor, and he told me that much in derby cars is art. Just, you don't have to rethink about what you're doing. So uh, we've been doing it for 30 years. People are now requesting my paint jobs from coast to coast. Pittsburgh has a great sports energy. I like how accessible the, the, the players are here in this city, you know? Uh, you're only two people removed from any player in the city if you really wanted to meet one. I'm painting some bikes for Juju Smith-Schuster, Pepsi and the Steelers. I have 10 bicycles coming out that you can win on a sweepstakes. I'm very lucky and blessed that I get to do this as a career. For sure. I have aspirations of doing this at the highest of levels. Um, I want to go to the Whitney Museum with this, the MoMA Museum in New York City. I find Demolition Derby as an art form. I take it absolutely serious. And this is my vehicle to high art. I'm not sure Demolition Derby is my speed. It's really hard to believe that place is right in the heart of the city. Coming up, these 412 fans check out the goods at this downtown boutique. Will it be tailgate approved? Find out next. Christian Home Healthcare is teaming up to find the Berg's biggest fans, like these kids. Email us photos of your kids, family, even your pets decked out in your favorite pro, college, or high school spirit wear. Ball from Penn Hills, and I love my Pittsburgh sports team so much. I got some skin in the game. It's all three sports teams in Pittsburgh, and uh, and it's got the Clemente Bridge in the, in the foreground, and I have the Steelers on one side, the Pirates back here, and the Penguins on the top. I've been tattooed in 16 years. Uh, when Paul came to me, I wanted to, you know, do something a little bit special. I never did one to Clem Clemente Bridge. I always liked that architecture, so I just wanted to change it up for him and do something a little different. I'm Paul from Penn Hills. I'm Russ from Black Omer Tattoo in Plum. I'm 412 for life. I'm 412 for life. And you're watching Fan Nation. You're watching Fan Nation. We're here in downtown Pittsburgh to see if Steel City brand has what it takes to be tailgate approved. Let's go meet the players. Alex Clements is retail manager at Steel City Brand and says their merch rules Pittsburgh tailgates. So our fleece is super big right now. It's the softest thing ever and it's perfect for all those outdoor football games. Our classic Steel City stripe tee is perfect because you can wear it to any of the sporting events. Our pierogi shirt is always super popular for baseball because the real reason to go to the games is the pierogies. Our shoppers, Chris, Nick, and Julia have their own reasons for being here. I'm a Pitt alum, and I'm always looking for cool pit gear. I'm looking for a very comfortable sweatshirt for my fall tailgates at my house. I'm a huge Steeler fan, and I need some new gear. This is a Pittsburgh fan superstore, but even if you're not a sports fan, this stuff is awesome. We just 
just want to have something for everyone. Everyone's a fan of something and we want to have that for them. It's all Pittsburgh t-shirts made by Pittsburgh people. We come up with our designs based on what's popular. Anything Pittsburghers are really excited about in the moment. We also have accessories, anything basically black and gold, just for people who want to you know, show their Pittsburgh pride. I got the picture I needed, and everything in here is so cool. Steel City brand is definitely tailgate approved. Steel City brand is 100% tailgate approved. This place has everything I need. Steel City brand, tailgate approved. And that's it for this edition of JP Roofing Fan Nation. To be a part of the show, upload your pics and video to fannationkdk.com and look for us on social at fannationkdk. And tune in next time to see what one fan will do to keep the Steelers' winning streak alive. Then wow, game day designs from the one and only Kia Tomlin. If you are a true Pittsburgh Steelers fan, you know what that means. The standard is the standard. Plus, we'll meet more fans, see their fan caves, and share surprises we found on social media. And we are looking for super fans of Wiz Khalifa. If that's you, let us know by emailing us at fannation at kdk.com. You could be in store for a big surprise. We're always here for you, Fan Nation. Hell to pit. Go Steelers. That's it for us tonight. I'm Rich Walsh. That's Daisy Jade. Have a great night, and we'll see you later. There's nothing better than walking into a game and seeing the stands filled with fans. And you just walk in there and you're just like, oh, family. <laughs> We're still letting our boys know that win or lose, we still love you guys and we, we bleed black and gold. But still, football is just, it's a, we have a, we're, on, we're in our own little world. <laughs> you guys are just joining it, that's all. <laughs> And it doesn't matter who you are, as long as you have a Steeler jersey on, if you're a Steeler fan, you're family. And that's probably like the best family that you ever want to be a part of because it, no one cares who, you, what you do for a living and they don't care if you're rich or you're poor. You're a Steeler fan, you're family. You got brothers, you got sisters that's going to support you. And I think that was probably like the biggest thing about it. Family's great. Steeler family's great. <laughs> I love them. The Kitty KA TV News app on any device. Local news, sports and weather, video on demand, and CBSN Pittsburgh, all in just one tab. Download now.